Hello, I'm Cleopatra Wallace, and this video is all about the Nord Stream pipe explosion that happened on September the 26th of 2022. I'm going to read the copyright disclosure because I'm going to play a short news clip. Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news report, and teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All right, now let's look at the short clip. Uh, the leaks are under investigation. Um, their initial reports indicating that uh, this may be the result of an attack or some kind of sabotage, but these are initial reports and we haven't confirmed that yet. But if it is confirmed, that's clearly in, in no one's interest. Um, now, my understanding is the leaks will not have a significant impact on Europe's energy resilience. Um, and what's critical is that we are working day in, day out, both on a short-term basis and a long-term basis, to address uh, energy security for, uh, for Europe and, uh, and, for that matter, around the world. All right, and make myself bigger. I'm still getting used to the new setup, so bear with me. All right, turn the camera around a little bit. All right, so spirit guides, holy angels, and ancestors gather around, because tonight we're going all the way to the Baltic Sea. Because the pipeline was in the middle of the sea. And because it is the middle of the sea, of course, there's no postal code because there's no zip code because they're not getting mail because you're in the middle of the sea. But they do have what's known as an ice code. And it's four characters. And the characters are six, not six. The characters are SMH1. So spirit guides, holy angels, and ancestors, we want it to be September the 26th. And we want to be in the middle of the ocean. In the middle of the Baltic Ocean, which is in ice code SMH1. Now, I like to start with four or more. If the cards fall to the floor, I only read the ones that fall face down. If they too many come out, I take the top and the bottom. And again, this pipeline is important because it delivers mineral resources to Europe. So, you know, they can run all of their heaters and stoves and cook everything. It's like somebody blowing up your furnace. So, oh. All right. We just need one more. And it's also very important because you have to think there's like an act, active um, war going on. Not like a world war, but there's a lot going on in Europe right now. So to have this happen is most unfortunate. And there's a lot of finger pointing. Like NATO's pointing at Russia, Russia's possibly pointing at America, everybody's pointing at each other. All right, we have our four cards. But this is very bad timing, considering we might be having a food shortage. And also, it hasn't never blown up before like this. Why would it blow up now? And it was supposedly three different leaks that caused this explosion. All right, so the first card up is the Three of Wands. Oh, I'm sure I got this three. You can see it good. That's too much light. All right, the Three of Wands. So I'm going to see what's there. Now, what I'm noticing on this is their hands are on the guns. Like, getting control of my pointer here. His hand is not on the trigger, but he's holding the gun. And she's holding a gun as well. Then there's another gun right here. To where even though no one's aiming the gun, just having your hand on the gun and being in possession of the gun is hostile. That's very hostile. So Spirit's pointing out that this was a hostile act. It was something, you know, intent. what does hostile mean? Something done to hurt someone else, to agitate. 
All right, the next card that came out is the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is it's all about movement, but he's also a very thoughtful knight. These are actions that you think about before you do. You know, sometimes people may say, oh, you have to think before you act. This was um, this was a well thought out act. And what they're pointing out on this card is um, he's on a motorcycle, but I believe this is his headlight. Now, it's not on, but I think it feels like it's about to be on. Like the spotlight is about to be on. The stage is getting set. The, that's the light. It's about to come on. All right. And I'm going to clarify all of these. And I have um, two questions over here. All right, the next card that came out was the Three of Swords. Mm, yeah, I see. Okay, see here this explosion in the background, this thing here burning? That's like a far off city. And of course, these people here are, um, they're suffering. They're not suffering because of the burning over here. They were already, you know, suffering because they had a little battle, you know, the, the the fight that's going on between Russia and Ukraine. And it's like on top of the battle, now you got this going on. So this act was, um, not only was it hostile, but it was, it was being done during a time when other things are going on and, um, Whoever or whatever caused it knew that there was something else going on. Well, of course, you would have to be under a rock right now not to know something else is going on. All right. The last card up is the four wands, which is the family scene. To where, you know, you're going to get together, going to have dinner with your family. And there's no food shortage in this picture. Everybody is um still eating pretty good. And their faces, they look really calm. But Spirit wants to point out that they are armed. So these are the equivalent of like armed civilians. All right. So let's start to clarify. First, I want to clarify the hands on the guns card, the hostile actions. And we're going to start out with the... Beauty or Horror deck. No, upside down. We're going to start out with the Beauty or Horror deck. We're going to attempt to. They may want to use a different one. All right, Spirit. So, as I said before, it's September the 26th. We are in ice code SMH1. We're asking about pipeline explosion that happened under the Baltic Sea. And see what that is. This is the temperance. And this is we are we're in the right place. See the um the water being poured, but then we have the smoke coming up behind. All right, so yes, spirit, we are where there was water in an explosion. All right, now back to the question. Can you maybe perhaps tell me who started this idea or who initiated? what that is now we're trying to see who kicked this off with the pipeline what came out is the king of swords so we definitely have the leader of somewhere very devilish now, as we all know, there is always an element of spiritual warfare to these types of things. But now that we got ourselves a suspect or a person, this person right here, let's see what we can find out about them. Mm -hmm. All right. And to do that, we're going to switch over to the Edgar Allan Poe deck. 
All right, Spirit, you've shown me a male leader with, I must say, you have a lot of dark energy with him. Can you tell me anything else about this leader who has initiated? Oh, it flipped. All right, the world. That's what flipped over. And yes, this is definitely going to affect the whole entire world. All right. So we're playing on the world stage. Some hostile actions. All right. This, this, this here, this building here that's on this world card, like, Spirit keeps making me look at it. What does that building look like? It could be the UN building. It could be the Kremlin. All right, let's move along. Let's see who is about to get the spotlight put on them. All right, Spirit. Now, as we are talking about this Nord Stream pipeline that exploded due to three different leaks on September the 26th, of 2022 underneath the Baltic Sea pipeline runs between Russia and Germany. It's in the ice code SMH1. Everyone's, oh, I was about to say everyone's watching. And these two came out. We have the lovers in the Six of Cups. Now this, this lovers card What's featured on here is Andromeda and Perseus. Do you remember the Clash of the Titans, that old movie to where, um, you know, the hero comes and he has to cut the girl loose from the chain, that whole thing? Looks like we got a hero. So the light's going to shine on a hero. The Six of Cups. It's all about giving and receiving. So this hero is not working alone. Lord, I hope America is not that hero. We have enough things on our plate. All right. Spirit, let's now move over to the city. Let's call it Europe in the background. What do I do with my pointer? Europe in the background over here. Or Ukraine. I'm gonna do that. I'll drop my feathers. All right. Now, like I was saying, I was wanting to know how this pipeline explosion combined with the war, because that's what this card is all about, the explosion going on on top of the war, how these two combined actions will affect Europe. So, Spirit, again... We are discussing the Nord Stream pipeline explosion that happened on September 26th of 2022 in the middle of the Baltic Sea in the ice code SMH1. It's a lot going on in Europe right now, Spirit. Can you tell me how this pipeline explosion will affect Europe in the coming months? What will happen over in Europe because of this in a couple of months? What can they have looked forward to in Europe? Aha. They almost fell, but I caught them. Now, this is quite a bit. So, I'm going to take the top and the bottom. And I'm going to take the one that fell over there. And put these two back. All right. Let's see what they say. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Europe. First of all, Europe, you need to know that. This is a combined effort. 
Like this isn't just one country or one leader. There are clearly three different people sitting here. But also, you're looking at a depressed time where it may just be a very cold winter over there. But also, you have escape from the deceitful woman, which means that in my mind, one of these people who are sitting down, who are sitting down at this bargaining table, is a snake in the grass. So this, to me, very well could point to there is a bit of sabotage here, but this dark leader, he's not working alone. So he's in bed with like a lot of other people or other leaders. But if I had to guess on who actually sabotaged this pipeline, I would put my money on whoever dwells in this gold building. Mm -hmm. It's awfully tall. All right, I am Clear Patch Wallace. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because who knows what's going to happen next.